So I'm a little late on this, but Kemba Walker has been traded from the Boston Celtics to the OKC Thunder. What is going on, everybody? How is everybody doing today? This happened early in the morning, 9 o'clock. I was still sleeping. I actually woke up in Philadelphia today, drove three and a half hours. Thanks a lot, New York traffic. Um, back to New York. So I'm here recording this reaction video to this trade. So the details are Kemba Walker and the 16th overall pick in this year's draft, so the second pick not in the lottery, obviously, and then the 2025 second are going to the OKC Thunder in exchange for Al Horford, Moses Brown, and a 2023 second. I really like want to know the discussions, like, you don't a 2025 second, I'll throw a 2023, like, I wonder where those go in, because uh, I feel like this trade could have just been, <laughs> like, a watch without that, or they didn't really need to be included. So, this is pretty big. We all knew that Kemba Walker was most likely going to get traded this offseason. I made a 10 realistic trade idea video on my main channel, None of them included OKC. I did not think they were going to do this trade. I just thought that Boston like would be interested in Al Horford, but they just really want to bring back um, and reunite him uh, with the team just because he left a couple years ago. His contract is aged. But yeah, this is basically to get off Kemba Walker's future owed salary. I believe he had two more years after this year, I believe. It could have been just one after this year. But either way, Al Horford might be an expiring. So yeah, Kemba Walker's contract is for two more full seasons as he would be a 2023 free agent because he has 73 million owed. So pretty big trade here, right? Uh, for OKC, man, they just acquire more draft picks. They're going to have... Uh, possibly, or they're gonna have like a top six pick in the strip from their pick. They can also have picks five, six, or seven. Or no, no, it'd be yeah, five, six, or seven because that Rockets pick is top four protected. So if it falls out of the top four, OKC could have three picks in the top sixteen. Sheesh, man, they have so many first round picks, and they're basically t getting a first round pick for just taking on Kemba Walker, who has I guess one more year owed than Al Horford, or is just making a little bit more money for um. Still for OKC, we could talk about yeah, they they get a first round pick from Philly to take on Al Horford, and then they get a first round pick for uh trading away Al Horford. It, Al Horford, it's. It's kind of crazy, man. It's kind of crazy. So for OKC, uh, I expect Kemba Walker to be traded once again. I'll still be uploading probably a Kemba Walker Thunder rebuild out tomorrow just to see what that team looks like with Kemba um, and Shea in their backcourt, seeing what they can do with uh, the cap space they'll still have, draft picks, etc. And then, yeah, they're just going for the future. I'm actually, uh, I've been meaning to tweet this out, but I feel like the Suns Thunder trade with Chris Paul going to the Suns has been one of the best win-win trades in recent history. The Suns, they had their best season since kind of like Charles Barkley was there. Uh, well, no, 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 no. Well, when Steve Nash was there in the mid-2000s, um, when they went to the conference finals, right? And they lost to the Spurs, I think. And then, um, yeah, so they have their best season and they're a two seed and they're probably the favorite to go to the finals at this current moment on June 18th. So it's a win- 100% a win for the Suns and for the Thunder. They got a first round pick um, for Chris Paul in that trade. They got a first round pick for Kelly Oubre. Actually, it won't convey though. I think it was top 20 protected. So I, I think it'll probably go to two seconds. So they get two seconds. They get a first round pick and then they just, they get another first round pick here. I don't know. So it's kind of great for them, but this is kind of more important for Boston. We're going to see what they're going to do. They do clear up some salary. I don't know if this means that they're going to go out and just give it to Evan Fournier, kind of the money they save in this trade. And they're like, okay, we can bring back Evan Fournier because I'm sure they're fine with Robert Williams and Moses Brown at the five next year. Uh, Cause Robert Williams, a little bit inconsistent for how long he can stay on the floor uh, due to injury. So Moses Brown's a nice backup option. Uh, Moses Brown is interesting because he's he's got a lot of potential and he's still fairly young. But I think people are overrating him a little bit on Twitter. Uh, but he, he's a good player. And people are saying, yeah, it's basically the 16th pick for Moses Brown. And I mean, I'd probably rather have Moses Brown than the 16th pick in this draft, definitely. But I, I wouldn't say that Moses Brown is going to be an immediate all right, this guy's an instant starter. He's a guy that we're going to give a multi-year contract to. It's going to be a different um, style of play for him there. And they're going to rely on his defensive ability, which I think wasn't great last year in OKC, but it's trending in the right direction. So we'll see what happens this year with Moses Brown. But I, I like the pickup of Moses Brown. I'm surprised that OKC wanted to trade him away. I think they just love getting first round picks, and I'm sure they're going to get a first round pick for Kemba Walker down the line. Maybe the Lakers are going to be like sign and trade, shooter, um, or just do a, a trade Kemba to the Lakers for their 28th pick in the draft. Or no, 20 second pick. I, I mean, I could see it happen. I could definitely see it happen. I think Kemba Walker, it's a major flop. A point guards in Boston, man. Just been flopping. Kyrie was good, but he didn't stay healthy a lot. Only played there for two years, but the first year he was hurt a lot. And then Kemba only plays two years and he gets traded away. This is the first deal that Brad Stevens does as the head of basketball operations. I don't know. It's weird in Boston. So, like, so much just happened in the NBA where the Mavs just went and cleared house, Donnie Nelson got fired, Harrell Bob got fired, um, and then Rick Carlisle left, Scott Brooks left, 
Uh, what other coach ended up getting fired? Stan Van Gundy? Like, so many guys have left their teams. Steve Clifford. Uh, we know Terry Stotts has gone in Portland. There's just so many openings here in the NBA, and it's going to be interesting to see. We're going to have a lot of new coaches. Now, I wouldn't say, actually, we could see a couple of rookie coaches next year. Chauncey Billups or Yumei Odoka, Chris Quinn, some of these guys, final offers around the league. But yeah, uh, Boston's made a lot of moves this offseason already by letting, or Danny Ainge stepping down. Getting or moving Brad Stevens from head coach to basketball operations and trading Kemba. I didn't even know you could make trades now. I, I thought you had to wait until the NBA season was over and then you could make trades because uh, I doubt this is official until the season ends. So um, who knows? Maybe somebody will back out, but I doubt it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this trade down below. It's going to be kind of a quick reaction video. It's a big trade. I wouldn't say it's a massive trade, but it's a fairly big trade involving Kemba Walker. But I expect to be making a video reacting to another Kemba Walker trade down the line. So yeah, let me know uh, what your thoughts are on this trade and I'll catch you guys in the next one.